Hi, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, connect real Cisco switches uh, into the program GNS3. Now, a lot of you guys have asked what I'm running, you know, for my uh, my GNS3 or my you know my Dynamip server, and I'm going to give you the specifications here first before we go ahead and do the lab. Uh, I'm running an Intel Q9550 for my CPU. Um, let's see, I'm running a, a MSI X48 uh, C Platinum for my motherboard. Um, I've just got 4 gig of DDR3 RAM. And let's see, is there anything else that is uh, really all you got to worry about is um, if you're trying to do, you know, this lab, uh, you, all you really need is, you know, um, you need the, the PCI slots, um, not the new ones, the old PCI slots. And that's why I went with the MSI X48C Platinum uh, motherboard because it supports three... Um, it supports three old PCI uh, slots and what I have is another thing here to add is I have three uh, quad port uh, NICs and these quad port NICs allow me to uh, bridge the connection from uh, my real switches into you know GNS3 because most um, what you're gonna see is most of the uh, you know the CCIE uh, vendors have at least 12 connections uh, running from the routers to the switches. So what I'm gonna, so what I'm doing, you know, in my studies for the CCIE routing and switching is I'm using uh, GNS3 to emulate my switches. I'm sorry, GNS3 to emulate my routers. You know, my backbone routers and and my other routers, and basically nine routers total. And then um, for the switches. Uh, I'm using three quad port NICs uh, on my computer that are, uh, let's see, I can give you the exact uh, title of the uh, the NICs here if I look. Uh, they're a Dabtech ANA62044. Uh, so, they're a Dabtech. So that's the actual uh, the model number, ANA62044. Uh, again, what I use, I, I just went to uh, eBay and bought them off of there. Uh, they, you can usually catch them. Uh, sometimes, if you look and you find them, you'll get catch them for about fifteen to twenty dollars a piece, uh, which is pretty good. Most sites, most other sites, you'll catch them for like fifty or sixty dollars. Um, Anyway, I've had good luck with the Dabtech ANA62044 uh, 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 you know, the, the quad port NICs. So also what I wanted to mention is I'm running a, you know, XP 64-bit. Uh, so a lot of people, you know, go with, you know, Ubuntu or whatever else, you know, uh, Linux unix platforms but i'm just running windows and you know it auto detected uh you know my my quad port nicks with no problem and um usually i can tell you guys that uh with this setup with this hardware uh when i have uh 10 routers running you know external bgp between all 10 routers uh my cpu utilization is about um 10 to 15 percent so and that's really you know all I really needed to do is just to, to see if I can simulate 10 routers and see what kind of CPU utilization I'm getting and with a quad core you know processor and four gigs of RAM is really all you need uh, you know for your you know your CCIE uh, studies anything else is pretty much you know just overkill I mean you know, there's guys that are running like dual quad cores and 
you know, 8 to 16 gigs of RAM. I mean, there's no big problem doing that, but uh, if you got the money. But if you're on a budget, like 99% of everybody that I know, then this is probably will get you by with your studies. Um, so anyway, I guess what we'll do now is I'm just going to show you guys uh, how to do this. What I want to do in this video is to show you how to, uh, you know, connect your real switches uh, uh, to GNS3. And I'll set up a little lab in GNS3 and show you how to do that. Um, so what I got going on here is in my in my setup what I do is I run go to my PC and that allows me you know to connect to my lab from anywhere uh, what I do is you know once I get into my computer what I can do is I just tell that you know straight to my uh, I have um, a 2509 uh, term server that I'm using to connect you know for my out-of-band connections into my switches so you know if for some reason in GNS3 if something goes wrong you know in with the in-band connection you know I always got that uh, failover option where I can well, not failover but you know I got a you know, backup plan where I can get in out-of-band to my uh, switches if I need to do you know more troubleshooting so um, So from my 2509, uh, what I'm doing is, you know, uh, I, I set up.